Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to post a blog in Kachari. So let's begin. First of all, um, these are the blog posts that I have right now and I'm going to add more blog posts. So to add a new blog post in Kachari, what you do is you click on new blog post. Okay. And this is what comes up. So this is the overall overview of what it looks like. And from here, we begin by adding a title. So let's say, I don't know, let's title this rich versus poor. Difference in mentality. Difference in mindset. How about that? Okay, after you add in your titles, then the next step is to add your content. So you can type your content in here directly. But for me, um, I don't like to do that. I like to type my content out before using something like OneNote and then copy and paste it. So in this content, so this is the content that I wrote to this well. I'm going to correct, select A. So like control A or command A and command C. So kind of copy it, come back here and paste it. So this is kind of what it looks like when you post, paste your blog here. And at any time you can preview your blog, preview what you are doing by just clicking on save. Once you click on save, okay. Then this preview icon will show up and you can click on preview. Now to go back here and I want to right click and open in a new tab. This way I can have both tabs open. And this is my website, professorevidence.com. If you click on blog, you can see, um, the blogs that I already had before. You can see my blog page right here. And right now, this blog that I'm creating is, is set to unpublished. Once I click published, then it will show up right here in my blog page. Okay. So let's go back here and let's click on um, published. But even though it is unpublished, right? You can still preview it like I showed you. So. Even though the blog post is not showing up on my blog page yet, you can preview whatever you're doing here by right click and preview. But if I want this blog to show up on my blog page or my website, I have to go here and click on published and publish. You can select the publish date. Or you can set a, um, a specific publishing schedule so you can publish in a future date. This is very helpful for creating content in advance. I personally do this when we select a date and a time, you know, for it, for it to be published. But I'm going to click cancel for now and just say published as of this time. And I'm going to click on save. Now that is set to publish, if you go to my website and refresh it, as you can see, the blog shows up, which versus poor difference and mindset. By the way, this blog is the same thing as this. I'm just using this as an example. So now our blog is published. Now we want to edit this so there's not so much gap in between sentences, in between paragraphs, all right? You can edit it directly from here or alternatively, you can click on this. Click on this kind of makes it into a big screen so you can see everything a lot better. This is how I like to edit my blog. Okay. So now let's go to this. This is source code. So this is if you want to put a code on here. So if you have HTML and CSS code, you can add it on here and this is, you can also see the source code of your blog. So for example, um, 
If you know a little bit of HTML and CSS, you can take advantage of that. Okay, so if you click on this, this as you can see, this, I want to make this rich bold. All right. So if you click on this, that's assuming you know HTML and CSS. If you don't know HTML and CSS, don't bother doing this. So I'm going to click strong. And so basically this um, is HTML and CSS for making something bold. All right. And I'm going to click OK. As you can see, the word rich is now bold. And of course you can do that from here, but I'm just using this as an, as, as an example to let you know that you have access to the source code of your blog. If that's something you wanted. I'm going to click OK. And that goes out. So now let's begin by removing this extra space because I don't like it. It looks weird. It looks absolutely awkward. Okay, so now that we have removed all the white space, it kind of looks a little bit better. And of course, you can go back down to a small screen and click on save. And we can go back to our preview page. And there it is. Right there. I mean, that's a long blog. <laughs> like I said, I know this is the preview page. Okay, so we can go back here and I'm going to show you what all this does. So if we begin with this, let's say you type something here. You can click on this for you to undo it, you know, and go back. Or you can click on this to redo it. So that's what these buttons are for undo and redo. And then this is format. So if you go under format, you see different things like headlines, inline, blog, alignment, stuff like that. And um, so let's select this for example. And we can click on headlines. And of course you can make that H1 or you can make it H3. You know, and if you know HTML and CSS, you can of course, do this manually, but why would you do this manually if you can do it with your hand? So H3, or we can do take this back to H1. And there it is again. So, but I want this to be a regular paragraph. And it goes back to being a regular paragraph. So under formats, you have different options. You have um italics you can make something underline it you can uh, strike through something you now you have um different options here and of course you can make something subscript and superscript so that's what you have in format. Then you have blog and you can make something into a blog quote. So it kind of indents properly as if it's a quotation. And then and we have different options. You have alignment. You can make something go to the right, you know, things of that nature. So, and then um, that's what's under format. And then you can go here to do both also italics strike through from here you can change um, the color to be something like red for example and of course you can use a custom color and if you know the rgb of the color you want to use you can put that here if you know or if you know the this hexagonal number you can also put that here you know So you can pick um, the color that you, you want. You can pick a custom color. And here we have horizontal line. That is if you want to add a line. If you want to add a line, you know, in between two things, you can also do that in Kajabi blog. And then we have bullet points. So 
let me select all of these and add a black point you can do that if you want to and then you can also do numbers so number list if you choose to you can decrease indent or increase indent let me use a different example you can increase indent or you can decrease your indentation you can also add a link so let's say i want this to be a link to this page you can click on it and click on insert link and then you can insert the link right there and target is if somebody clicks on it you want it to open on the same window you leave it an, at none if you want it to open on a new window you go click on new window whenever somebody clicks on this link i want it to open in a new window so you click on ok all right and you can also um insert a link here without having to click on that yeah. and now let's go back here and click on save okay and let's go back to our preview and refresh as you can see all those changes that i made um is been is showing up here all the changes that i made you can see that and then of course you can click on this and it takes you to the link so there it is and then um let's go to image real quick let's go back to full screen here so let's choose this as an example so if you click on image you can add your image here or and um, you can get image from different other sources and um when you drag your image and drop it here you'll be able to see the images so let me just pick one for example how about that one there the image shows up and of course you can click it and you can resize it Or you can make it extra big <laughs> it's up to you you get to pick what to do with the images and let's go back here and you can click on save so basically that's how you do blog and kajabi and of course you can also embed a video so there are two ways you can embed a video you can embed a video by adding video through this or adding videos through the source code from here you can embed a youtube video you can embed a facebook video you can embed an image you can embed whatever you want to embed um in a different video i'm going to show you how to add video to this and how to add video using your source code and the difference like the way your video shows up on the page is a little bit different if you add it here or if you add it here so that's a whole different video now let's move on so let's work with organization first so organization is tagged let's go back to my blog here if you go to my blog you see that i have different categories so in kajabi your categories is known as tags okay and from here you can type in your tag and click enter and that is how you get categories in kajabi so as you can see i have different categories here and if we go back here let's say we want to tag this as um okay let me show you something first if we go here and click on wealth and financial life 
right now we only have one blog okay if you go to digital marketing you see blogs that are related to that one all right now if we go to if we go back here let's say we want to tag this as wealth and financial life Make sure you click enter or tab. If you don't click enter or tab, this will not work. And if you click on save, when we go back to wealth and financial life, now we should see two blocks. This is the old one that I've created, and this is the new one. You know, I mean, they're both, the content is the same, but this is the new one that I created. And as you can see, I still have only three categories. If we go back here, and let's say we decided we did not want to call it this. We want to call it um, building long, let's say long term wealth. And click enter. And then we click on save. When you go back here and you refresh it, as you can see, long term wealth has been added as one of the categories. So whenever I click on long term wealth, you see the blog we are creating shows up you can go to all categories so that is how you add categories in kajabi blog and then seo and sharing so what do i want the url to be i think this is good enough so professor evidence.com slash blog slash rich versus poor difference and mindset this right here is good enough for me. If I copy this, go over here and click, my blog should show up. See, it does show up. So I think this is a good enough title. You can also choose your own title right here. You can change this, you know, you can change it to, let's say, money mindset. And then click on save. All right. And you can copy this, go back here, control V, enter. It's can say the same block shows up. So you can um, customize the URL of your blog right here. So page title. Mindset, I don't know, difference between wealthy people and poor people I think that's a good enough page title and then from here you can do page description so basically with page description it's recommended that you do 150 to 160 characters long the fact is that you cannot do more than 300 um, characters yeah, let's click on this before we continue Let's just pick um, random things from the blog we already have. But we'll pick all of this, right? Let's copy this. And let's go here, page description, and click Control V. As you can see, I added 591 characters. And it says that's too long. Maximum is 300 characters. So you cannot add more than 300 characters to the page description. So it won't let me save this blog because this is too long. So in this case, I have to, let's say, remove this. And as you can see right now, I have 264 characters, which is less than 300 characters. So it's very happy. And then I can click on save. Now we have something called page image. And we also have blog image so blog image is actually what shows up on the blog page so if we go to let's use this as an example as you can see right here this is a video in Kajabi if you use video there's no need to use blog image if you use blog image you don't have to use video um, but let's say you don't have a video for your blog you just want to use an image and you want the image to show up like this one right here 
what you do is you can click you can upload a new image or you can select a recent file in this case i'll select a recent file let's say this one looks good to me you select it and that's good enough you click on save and then click on save so now that this is saved if we go back here and refresh this uh oh uh, remember i changed uh <laughs> i changed the url this url is wrong i believe this is the right uh oh wrong url <laughs> url again i changed the url let's see uh Let's go to blog. Okay. So rich versus poor. As you can see rich versus poor. Difference in mindset. Um, as you can see the blog image that I use right here shows up right here. And whenever somebody clicks on it, it shows up right there. As you can see, this is the categories in and this is the date it was published. And this is the image. And this can also be a video if you prefer to use a video. And, and if you click on this one, from here you can watch the corresponding video. Okay, let's go back here. And now let's go to page image. Page image doesn't show up, but I just want to show you. Um, I still want to show you what it does. So analytics, click on save. All right, and then click on save. So if we go back here and refresh the page, as you can see, it, what it still has is the blog image and not the page image and even when you click on it the page image doesn't show up what shows up is the blog image okay so basically the point is the page image is not what is not what shows up on your blog what shows up on your blog is the blog image or the ev video and like i said in a different video i'll show you how to upload a video here how to embed youtube video like i have and how to embed facebook videos and i'm going to go ahead and remove this you can save and if you want to remove the image if you want to remove the image you can just come over here and you click on remove and of course you have to save this and then you refresh and bam the image is gone so i believe that covers everything all right ladies and gentlemen that is it that is how you upload a blog in kajabi if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more digital marketing videos and be sure to visit me online at professorevidence.com visit me online at professorevidence.com or you can just go to evidenceend.com just go to evidenceend.com it will still bring you to the right website and be sure to visit me online at professorevidence.com slash free membership to join my free digital marketing education membership and inside my membership platform i have um, videos i have courses mini online courses i have audio i have tutorial pdf documents and powerpoint slides all of this is designed to teach you digital marketing for free so that's professorevidence.com slash free membership thank you for watching and be sure to share this video with anyone else that find it very helpful Thanks and bye.